Hey guys! In this video, we are going to test the best hiking shoes for men you can buy right now. I made this checklist based on my personal opinions and study time. And I've listed them based on the security and pricing features I've included for options for each type of consumer. So you can easily verify this best hiking shoes for men for yourself or your family. We always try to provide customers with informative ideas so that they can easily verify any product. If you would like more information and would like to set an updated price on the products mentioned, be sure to check the links in the description below. Our first choice the La Sportiva Spire GTX is the all-around favorite among our testers. It is the shoe our reviewers refused to give back once they were done testing it. Very lightweight at only 2.06 pounds, these shoes showcase some of the best performance features of the entire review lineup. With an amazing waterproof liner, we could not get these shoes to soak through during our submersion test. We also were astounded at how well they gripped on both wet and dry surfaces thanks to a high traction sole. From quick lunch hikes to all day hauls, we found very little to complain about with this pair. The Spire GTX is quite comfortable even in warm temperatures thanks to this innovative membrane that lets the foot pass moisture through much more effectively than traditional fabrics. Still, it is not nearly as breathable as those models which do not feature a water-resistant liner. It is supportive, and we feel comfortable hiking with loads up to around 30 pounds while wearing these shoes. With more weight on our backs or in terrain that is demanding, we might resort to a shoe that has a bit more structure and support. This shoe is our go-to choice for the majority of our hiking objectives and the one we most readily recommend as the best in its class. At number 2 the Vast Juxt has impressed us for years with its performance per dollar ratio. This inexpensive model is comfortable, supportive, and is a recommended shoe for those hiking in dry environments like the desert. The outsole is grippy and offers excellent traction on dry rock, and the leather upper is more durable than many synthetic materials while still maintaining a lighter than average weight. We love this shoe as a do-it-all-day hiker for warm weather activities like desert hiking that do not require a waterproof membrane. Our main concerns with the Juxt revolve around their lack of waterproofing. Most models in this review have some kind of sewn-in waterproof, breathable membrane, while this one has none. If you are heading for mostly dry trails, this may not be a problem for you. Another issue is the less durable craftsmanship around the shoe's upper. We found a few issues with the stitching and might not recommend this model for heavy use in very abrasive environments. For trail hikes, from short to long, though, it's tough to find or a better price on the market. At number 3 the North Face Ultra 109 WP is our favorite waterproof option for those seeking a pair of hikers on a budget. After more than a year of consistent use, these shoes still perform admirably in nearly all conditions. It is hard to find a shoe with a waterproof liner as capable as this model without spending a lot more money. Comfortable as a pair of running shoes, these hikers are great for days spent trail running but are also supportive enough to hike with moderate loads on overnight excursions. We find the Ultra 109 to be well-rounded and capable at everything from trail runs to day hikes and even lightweight backpacking trips, though it lacks some of the stability that stiffer or high-cut models do provide. But if you are looking for a beefed up trail running shoe that can handle a whole lot more, check out the Ultra 109. This model has few drawbacks while boasting a large price advantage. At number 4 the Salomon X Ultra 3 GTX is our favorite hiking shoe to wear when in tough terrain and when traveling on and off the trail. These shoes snug up nicely with ease thanks to a quick lace system and securely wraps around the foot, making them very effective in unstable situations. Their traction is excellent in wet and dry conditions, and a supportive injected EVA midsole adds some structure to the shoe, making them bit well into loose terrain. We find that when the going gets tough, we want to have a shoe on our feet that we can count on, and the X Ultra 3 GTX meets these high expectations. The X Ultra 3 GTX is a bit roomier fit than others, so it does not fit narrow feet well. Some also may not like the quick lace system as much as we did, as it does not allow for the precise lacing adjustments that some hikers prefer, and the system is difficult to replace, especially when out in the mountains. 
Other than these minor issues, we find the X Ultra 3 GTX to be an admirable performer in our review metrics and feel that it is one of the most versatile hiking shoes for this reason. At number 5 the Apteryx EIOS FL GTX is unbelievably light. They are the lightest hiking shoes that we have ever tested. Usually apprehensive about shoes that are too light, we were surprised that when we took these for a 19-mile hike in the Sierra Nevada that we came back without blisters, sore feet, or wet socks. The Gore-Dex lining does a great job of keeping out unwanted water. The AIOS are ridiculously light, but in achieving this weight, they do lose some long-term durability. We put them to the test and hiked about 300 miles in them before they became too soft to be useful for trail hiking anymore. The outer of the shoe still looked surprisingly good, but the structure of the midsole and the heel cup had broken down enough that they were not as supportive as they once were. This still seems like a reasonable lifespan for such a niche hiking shoe, and we look forward to buying our next pair to test. We hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like on the video. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, have a nice day.